Welcome to the All Language Resources channel where we review different resources to help you learn a new language. Rocket Languages has been around since 2004 and provides online language courses in several different popular languages. We've reviewed a bunch of their courses on our website and the quality varies by language. This review will look at Rocket Languages as a whole, explain how the platform works, and will share our reasons for giving it an overall score of 3.2 out of 5 stars. Let's start off the review by looking at the Rocket Languages platform. The platform is pretty easy to use and it's one of Rocket Languages' strong points. This is the dashboard view. From it, you can access all of the course materials as well as some additional language tools. You can also monitor your daily progress here. Language courses on Rocket Languages are broken into three different levels by difficulty. These levels are then divided into modules which are made up of lessons. There are three different types of lessons in each module. Interactive audio lessons, language and culture lessons, and survival kit lessons. There are also writing lessons for courses in languages with different writing systems. Let's see how the interactive audio lessons work. Each audio lesson is centered around a piece of dialogue and resembles a podcast episode. The hosts will talk you through the dialogue and the different words in it on your first go-through. The best way to learn any language is to actually use it in conversation. And in this Rocket Korean Premium Interactive Audio course, we'll teach you to do just that. You'll also have chances during the audio lesson to pronounce the different vocabulary words and phrases individually. Are you ready to give it a try? Sujin will say the words again and leave a pause so that you can practice them after her. Make sure you say the word aloud to really get a feel for that pronunciation. I'm telling you, it won't work if you just repeat them in your head. Let's practice these words after Sujin. Each of these lessons is around 20 minutes long. At the end of each audio lesson is the rocket review, where the hosts quiz you on what you learned in the lesson. For example, they'll say a word in English and ask you to say the correct translation before playing the correct answer. This section is self-assessment only. Ready? Let's go. What do you add at the end of someone's name to make it a little more polite? Si. How do you say, hello, how are you? Annyeonghaseyo. After listening to the audio lesson, you get to take part in the conversation practice activity. It's called Play It and is essentially a role-playing activity. You choose one side of the conversation and talk with the other recorded half. The platform uses speech recognition technology to provide assessment for this activity. This kind of technology isn't perfect by any means and it does just an alright job of providing feedback. You'll almost certainly get at least some faulty feedback. Also, while the program does supply you with a transcription of what it recorded you saying, it isn't the most accurate or efficient way to learn from your mistakes. Hi, Siri. Hello, Siri. Thank you. After this section, there's a list of extra vocabulary words from the lesson, some extra audio recordings, and then the reinforcement activities which we'll talk about more later. The extra vocabulary comes with a translation, an audio recording, and the chance to record yourself saying the word or phrase. This is pretty handy if you want to practice these items individually. Also, say oh.
Also see you. Now, let's move on to take a peek at language and culture lessons. These lessons contain a lot of information. This is where you'll get in-depth grammar instruction and cultural notes that correspond to the level of the language you're currently learning. It's a lot of text which can get dreary, but the information is usually good. There are also this. several opportunities to listen to and try this. to produce the language throughout the lesson. The fact that Rocket Languages offers this kind of in-depth explanation is great and makes it more thorough than some other resources. But that isn't to say others don't do it better. The cultural aspects of these lessons are also quite useful. They usually relate to the material you're learning and provide some extra value. This snippet from a Korean culture lesson gives some background information on the importance and the use of honorifics in Korea. Making connections with the culture of the language you're learning is a great way to make your studies more meaningful and to deepen your understanding of the language. At the end of these lessons, you'll be able to practice and review all of the material using the rocket reinforcement activities. Moving on to the survival kit lessons. These aren't really lessons at all, to be fair. Instead, they're just groups of related vocabulary words to learn. They also aren't taught in any context, which isn't a great way to learn new words. Vocabulary building is an important part of language acquisition, but this isn't the best way to do it. If you're just after building your vocabulary, you'd be better off using Anki or Memrise. If you want to learn words in a meaningful context, Link you is a better option. And lastly, Let's discover writing lessons. For languages that have a different writing system from English, such as Chinese, Hindi, Japanese, Korean, Arabic, and Russian, there are also writing lessons. Some are better than others, but none of them are great at teaching writing. This is an example writing lesson from the Japanese course, which is one of the better ones for writing. Each of the writing lessons comes with lots of explanations which is really nice, but the practice opportunities always feel insufficient. Learning how to use a new writing system is an essential element in learning some languages, so it's nice that Rocket Languages provide support for this. That said, there are certainly better ways to become comfortable with new writing systems. For those interested in learning how to write Chinese and Japanese characters, Scritter is a better option and is worth considering. Rocket reinforcement activities come with each and every lesson. Their aim is to provide you with more opportunities to practice the material you just learned in the lesson. Practice is a necessary part of language learning, and these activities provide thorough practice. Unfortunately, their repetitiveness makes them quite boring after a short while. Flashcards is the first activity you can use to reinforce what you learn, and you can guess how it works. Here you can see what it's like to use the flashcards. It's very simple. The learner is supposed to say the translation aloud and then click the flip button to see the correct answer. Like many resources, this flashcard activity asks users to self-assess. This isn't the most dynamic way to review, but it's a nice option to have. This feature would be much more helpful if there was an option to practice vocabulary words from previous lessons. As it is, the flashcard activity only includes vocabulary from the current lesson. As for the Hear It, Say It activity, the instructions for this one are in the name. This activity helps you practice your listening and pronunciation skills. First, press the play button to hear an audio recording of a piece of vocabulary. After listening to the word or phrase, it's your turn to try and repeat the word while recording yourself. The speech recognition technology will give you a pronunciation score out of 100 and reveal the language item. There isn't much to say about this activity. It's basic, and aside from the sometimes iffy voice recognition, it works well. It does become quite boring though. For the Know It activity, 
The user is given an English word or phrase and is asked to record themselves using the translation. This activity is useful for practicing meaning and pronunciation. It's very similar to the flashcard activity with the addition of a graded pronunciation element. The quiz activity is a series of multiple choice questions pertaining to the material in the audio lesson. As well as vocabulary questions, you'll get comprehension questions related to the conversation in the audio lesson. You can listen to the conversation in the target language as many times as you like by pressing the play button in this section. For languages with a non-Latin writing system, there are often extra testing activities that appear after the rocket reinforcement activities. Sorted activities have users sort chunks of text into the correct order after listening to a uh, word yeah. or phrase. It's nice that the platform offers this extra reading practice, but you'll need to supplement your study plan with all the uh, resources yeah. if you really want to learn to read another script effectively. The Travelog is an extra feature on the Rocket Languages courses and is available for separate purchase. It is only available in the Russian, French, Italian, and Spanish courses. These lessons are specifically designed for people who are planning on traveling to a foreign country as a tourist in the foreseeable future. The Travelog acts as an intensive crash course in language for tourism. In the Italian version, it follows a fictional couple's vacation to Italy. It covers everything from planning the trip, flying to Rome, getting from the airport to the hotel, and then various adventures while in the country. Through the fictional couple's experiences, you'll get chances to practice highly relevant language. The lessons focus on spoken language and are better for learners that are beyond the beginner level. The format of these lessons is similar to that of the interactive audio lessons. There's an audio lesson that's created centered around a piece of conversation, and then there are the same practice activities that happen throughout the rest of the course. Being able to ask for the restrooms will prove useful in many situations, such as in restaurants. Going through several languages, it is clear that not all Rocket Languages courses are created equal. As is often the case when one language resource attempts to offer instruction in a variety of languages, the material for some languages simply works better than for others. As is also usually the case, the courses that suffer with rocket languages are the ones with unique writing systems. We have reviewed 10 of the rocket languages courses. Here's how the individual courses fared. The rocket courses we rated highest are Italian, French, Spanish, and Japanese. In the middle are German and Korean. Courses that probably aren't worth your time and money are Chinese, Arabic, Russian, and Portuguese. Now, let's talk about pricing. Some of Rocket Languages courses have three levels of material and some only have one. This affects payment options. The courses with three levels of material are Spanish, Japanese, Italian, German, French, and Chinese. The prices seem to always be discounted, but typically fall between $99 and $259, depending on the number of levels purchased. The courses with one level of material are Russian, Portuguese, Arabic, Korean, and Hindi. It's worth noting that purchases grant you lifetime access to the material and are not ongoing subscriptions. Now, let's run through some alternatives you might try. Some other major players in this field are Pimsleur, Babbel, and Busu. Pimsleur's strong suit is that it gets users speaking rather quickly in the learning process. You won't get the same in-depth grammar explanations that you'd get with Rocket Languages, if any at all, but you'll get better oral language practice with less emphasis on rote memorization at a more affordable price. Babbel is another option that's quite a bit cheaper than Rocket Languages. It won't grant you lifetime access though. It's got quality material and short exercises that add flexibility to study time. While it's more engaging than Rocket Languages, it also suffers from exercises that get repetitive. 
Busu is a popular option with a very nice layout. The program is easy to use and fairly effective but should be avoided by anyone interested in learning Chinese. The Chinese course we tested was full of errors and didn't teach the material in an efficient manner. There are also a whole bunch of resources one could use to complement your study with rocket languages. One of the best is italki, an online tutor directory where learners can find teachers for one-on-one -on -one lessons as well as take part in some cool language exchange features. Overall, the things that rocket languages seem to do well are developing a logical and thorough curriculum and providing ample practice opportunities. Reading, writing, and listening practice with native speaker audio will get you a bunch of exposure to the language. The areas in which rocket languages fall short are the practice opportunities are very repetitive and the content itself is often fairly boring. It also doesn't do a great job of teaching most languages with other writing systems. So, some final thoughts. While there are reviews online that say otherwise, there's nothing groundbreaking about rocket languages. Some of their language courses are of undeniable quality, but none of them are widely engaging. Fortunately, they've made some serious improvements to some of their courses that were previously very bad. The Chinese course is a good example. It used to be awful. It's now much better, but still not a favorite. The fact is that there is a lot of competition out there offering quality language learning material. It's because of this that Rocket Languages can offer some really decent courses and still not come out on top of any of the languages it offers. The best resources are usually the ones that specialize in a specific language. If you'd like to see our most recommended resources in the language you're learning, you can find links in the description box below. Our overall rating for Rocket Languages is 3.2 out of 5 stars. The breakdown is as follows. For quality, it earns 3.5 out of 5 stars. The platform is well designed and easy to use, but the content is often uninteresting. For thoroughness, it earns 3.5 out of 5 stars. There are lots of explanations and practice opportunities, but exercises are repetitive. For value, it earns 2.5 out of 5 stars. The price is on the high side for what competing resources offer. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you're looking for more information on any particular resource, be sure to check out our website, alllanguageresources.com, where we've tested out and written about hundreds of language learning resources.